owners, we are bombarded with all kinds of things that we're told that are good for our horses. And a lot of times we believe it without doubting it, without questioning the source. We just were like, okay, everybody else is doing it, so maybe we should do it too. That's not always the case. And today I wanna to share with you five different wintertime horse care myths that are busted. Myth number one, feeding my horse a bran mash is a great idea to help his digestive health, keep him warm, and make sure he gets extra water that he needs during the winter. <clears throat> nope, it's not true. As good as it might feel to make a warm bran mash for our horses when it's cold outside, we like to be warm. We like stews and soups and different foods like that to help warm us up doesn't necessarily mean that a bran mash is a good idea for your horse. At one time it was considered pretty common to give your horse a bran mash not only when it was cold outside but if he had symptoms of colic to help get him through his colic because thinking that the bran would help loosen everything up. Well the bran does loosen everything up and as we've learned and become more educated as horse owners and horse people in general a horse's digestive system is very delicate. So when you introduce something like bran, which acts as a laxative, you end up taking that delicate digestive tract and throwing it into chaos. And another misconception is that by giving your horse the bran mash, you're going to have him drink more water. But when you think about it, the bran mash that you make for him, the amount of water that goes into it, it's pretty negligible when you consider how much water our horses consume on a daily basis. But if you still really, really want to give your horse some type of a mash, one option would be to take some pelleted or the cube type of feed like the alfalfa pellets or the alfalfa cubes and soak them in warm water and then give that to your horse. Myth number two, horses prefer cold water so they'll drink more of it. Nope, that's not true either. Now this myth is under debate heavily because there are some studies that show that most horses prefer their drinking water to be at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Others claim that as long as the horse has access to water, it doesn't matter how cold it is. I prefer to make sure that my horses have plenty of access to clean, ice-free water, because if your horse's water has ice on it or it's frozen with two or three inches of ice, it's probably likely it's gonna be harder for him to get to the water. I like to use a shared tank heater in between my horse's paddocks and then inside their stalls, there's a five gallon bucket and an insulator, which I clean out and make sure that they have plenty of water and they can access it whenever they want to. Another thing that you can do to encourage your horse to drink more water is to add some electrolytes to their feed, either in the morning, evening, or both. And if the weather is getting ready to change pretty drastically where you live, adding electrolytes can encourage them to drink more water and help prevent a potential colic situation. So encourage your horse to drink by making sure he has plenty of access to water, it's clean, and it's not frozen. You can also consider adding an electrolyte supplement to your horse's feed and make sure he has plenty of access to salt, either the pink Himalayan rock salt or one of the many different types of salt blocks that are available to horse owners today. Myth number three, your barn should be closed up tight all winter long to help keep your horses warm. <laughs> nope, that's not true either. And one of the reasons this myth has been busted is when you have a barn, filled with horses and shavings and hay, you get a lot of dust. So when you keep everything closed up tight, you're keeping that dust confined into the barn. And if your horse is confined in that barn too, well, then you could actually be contributing to some respiratory concern. So if you are fortunate enough to have a barn that is completely sealed, you should make an effort to at least get it opened up and air it out at least during the day or when it's warmer so you can help cut down on the dust and to make sure you keep the air circulating throughout your barn. It's also a good idea to keep the barn doors open and everything open while you're cleaning the stalls to help get rid of the dust. And while we're on the topic of stall cleaning, it's also a good idea to make sure you keep your horse's stall clean so that they don't get that concentrated ammonia in their stall. So use something like PDZ or something that's gonna absorb all of the excess urine and then clean it out on a regular basis. Myth number four, 
Any blanket is better than no blanket, and all horses should be blanketed over the winter. Nope, it's not true. And I know this is probably going to get a lot of flack because some people are very pro blanket and some people are very pro no blanket. My preference is somewhere right in the middle. One of my horses wears a blanket overnight and one of my horses pretty much never wears a blanket. A lot of it depends on the horse. But the main part of this myth is that any blanket is better than none isn't really true. It depends on the climate in which you live and it also depends on what the weather is doing where you live. If you have a horse with a really thick, heavy winter coat and it's 50 degrees, but they're saying it's going to rain or snow, you really don't want to put a heavyweight blanket on the horse because he's going to get sweaty and then he's not going to be able to stay warm. And on the other side of the coin, if you have a very lightweight blanket or let's say a sheet that's not waterproof and you put that on your horse, it gets wet. Your horse is going to get wet and it's going to trap that wetness next to his skin. Your horse is pretty smart at knowing how to keep himself warm or to cool down. And if you interfere with what you think is best and put a blanket on him when he really doesn't need it, you could actually cause more problems. So if your horse is blanketed or if you like to blanket your horse, just make sure you're using the right blanket at the right time of year for your horse. Myth number five, if it's cold outside, I should give my horse more grain. Nope, that one's not true either. Your horse doesn't need more concentrated calories when it gets cold outside. If it's gonna be really cold and you wanna make sure your horse has enough calories, try giving him some extra roughage or some extra hay. On a daily basis, your horse should be consuming one to 2% of his body weight in hay. Hay is the roughage and hay is the way that he's gonna get the most of his calories. It's also a lot safer to give your horse more hay than it is to give your horse extra grain. I've done this too. In the winter time, it's like I'm going to give them some extra grain to keep them warm. But instead of giving them some extra grain, it's a really good idea to give them some extra hay. And one way that you can make sure that they stay warm for longer periods of time is by feeding the hay in a hay net. My most favorite thing now is the Shire's Slow Feed Hay Net. This has taken my horse's eating time from about an hour to over three hours. And it's really nice to know that my horses are going to be able to be continually eating for longer periods of time. This also helps their digestive system and it helps to keep them warm for longer periods of time because they are constantly digesting smaller quantities of food. So those are five different wintertime myths when it comes to caring for your horses. Now some of you may agree with this, some of you may disagree with it, that's okay. It's your horse, you can do whatever you want. I just found this to be interesting and I thought it might be beneficial to you too. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture right down below, the picture of me with Frisbee, and you can subscribe to my channel and watch all my other videos and you can find out when I have new videos. Every Monday and Thursday a new video comes out. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.